Okay, so here we have it. Here's my aquaponics unit. Um, I didn't do any videos as I was constructing it, as there are a ton of videos out there on YouTube on how to build one of these things. But here's what I come up with. I've basically used scrap materials that I've had, as you can see the pallet and the cinder blocks. Uh, my fish tank is an old 55 gallon drum. I've used a kid's swimming pool for the grow bed. And basically that's all I purchased besides the plumbing and the pump was that kid's swimming pool. Everything else was materials that I had on hand. Uh, overall, this project has went really well. As you can see, the growth on my plants has been great. Uh, the lettuce and the beets have just done fantastic. Actually, the, the beets and the lettuce look better than the beets and the lettuce that I have growing in soil. Uh, if you look in here real close at these beets, I don't know if you can see it, but I have beets down there. They're about the size of a nickel, anywhere from the size of a nickel to a size of a quarter, but they're just doing spectacular. Uh, the lettuce, again, is doing really nice. My corn, on the other hand, is the one thing it's not doing so hot, and if you notice the yellowing in the leaves, I'm guessing that you know corn's a heavy nitrogen feeder, and my guess is that my system just doesn't have the nitrogen to support this corn. But it is growing. It doesn't look the healthiest, but we're going to let it go. See what happens with it. I have some basil down here coming in. It uh, that's only sowed for uh, about a week and a half ago. I sowed that from seed. Uh, my pepper's doing really nice, blooming. Uh, actually, I pruned all the blooms off when I first planted it, and it's just gone to town. My tomatoes have done great. They're growing really nice. Uh, the only problem I'm having with them is some blight, and that's not due to the aquaponics itself. That is due to my area. I live in the woods, basically. You can see there's trees all the way around my property, and we don't get good enough sunlight for the tomatoes. So my tomatoes that I have planted in the garden, I spray with a blight preventer, and I get good results that way, but due to this being an aquaponics setup and the fish, I cannot spray them with the blight preventer. But I am gonna have some tomatoes. Uh, I've got a few onions growing here and there. Started those from seed, not real happy with those. But again, the onions I started from seed and the soil haven't performed the greatest either. Uh, it's the first year I've ever grown them from seed. I don't know if anybody has any comments or suggestions for that. I would greatly appreciate it. But overall, I've done great. My fish, you'll never be able to see those down in there. Um, it's just too dark. But I do have a hybrid bluegill. There's 28 hybrid bluegill in there. I started out with 30 and two died the first day. And other than that, I haven't had any other casualties. So I, I feel pretty good about those. They are growing um, pretty quickly. Now when I set this system up, I did not do the six weeks run cycle time as is suggested in other videos and by other people on YouTube and the actual aquaponics people themselves. Uh, here in West Virginia, our, gro our growing season is limited. So I just planted the stuff, put the fish in, put the seeds, put it into the plants, right off the bat, started it up and ran it. And I will tell you, everything, all these plants just kind of sat uh, for about three weeks. And after about three weeks, the growth just started coming on. So I would say at that point is whenever my uh, bacteria levels uh, were to a point that they could sustain the system. Um, the water's crystal clear. So I can tell that, I mean, everything's got to be working right because everything, everything's just living perfectly. So here's my system. Overall, very satisfied. This is going to be my, this is my initial startup system. I'm getting ready to build another one with a greenhouse attached to it so that I can grow things longer due to our short growing season. But with the greenhouse, that should improve. So here we are. Thanks for watching.